breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Where do we suffer? The physical body and psychological mind. Physical disorders. Part 1. Attack and become attacked. Autoimmune disorders and diseases may indicate we are, our ego is, continually attacking ourselves, itself, with perhaps intense criticism, harsh ridicule, and self-debasing condemnation, or others are attacking us likewise. And because we are probably unable or unwilling to defend ourselves for various conscious and unconscious reasons, we internalize their behaviors. We ultimately believe that what others say about us is true and, as a consequence, deserve to be verbally or personally attacked. Moving forward. Since the body's joints help us to move and navigate through life, virtually any non-injury specific pain, stiffness, or other mobility issues could reflect how inflexible one might be regarding our beliefs, along with how well we flow with life itself. Or, maybe we are generally unaccepting of fresh ideas and perspectives along with other people, and refrain from actively seeking out opportunities for self-improvement, self-enrichment, and inclusionary practices. Essentially resist growing or moving forward in life and, instead, remain sedentary in our potentially insufferable realities. The eyes have it. Invariably, eye issues indicate we either have no desire to see things as they are, or what we do see, or have seen, is ultimately painful and even traumatic. More specifically, farsightedness could signify an unwillingness to recognize the ultimate significance of other people and events right before our eyes, while nearsightedness, we may have become acutely fearful of envisioning our life far off into the future. Blindness, or conditions leading towards potential blindness, on the other hand, might be telling us that we cannot stand to look at certain people in our life, since their behaviors are unsightly, if not insufferable, to observe. Getting under our skin. Both physically and psychologically, the outer skin reflects various inner states, the body's overall health and the mind's general well-being. And, thus, skin disorders act like beacons in alerting us to potential trouble brewing just under the surface. Or, the skin may be warning us that perhaps the body deeply wants to rid itself of toxic beliefs and behaviors, yet we are, the ego is, perhaps afraid to let them go. 